Hey everyone, it's Renee. So for today's DIY, we're gonna be painting some mini flowers on our phone cases. Before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is clean my surface and before I start painting because I want a clean surface to paint over with. Then I would highly suggest you to work over a piece of plastic bag or a Ziploc bag that you don't really use or you just use for painting just to protect your area. Then I'm going to just take my acrylic paint, my brush, and I'm just going to start painting, covering the whole thing. You can always apply some base coat or just a primer before you start painting to just, you know, have better performance on your painting. Just go ahead and apply it. As far as for the black goes, I'm just going to cover the whole thing in black, giving my cell phone case a good couple of coats. I'm just going to be putting my cell phone or my phone case on the top of this bottle of paint and I'm just going to leave it there to dry. I keep on saying cell phone, but I'm referring to my phone case, just so you know. So once my phone case is, is dry, I'm just going to go ahead with my purple acrylic paint. I'm going to start drawing a line with my toothpick and then like kind of a cross over that one, two more going across those previous lines. And before that dries, I'm just going to take this pink that I made mixing some red and some white and I'm just going to take another toothpick and I'm just going to place one dot in the middle and then just the petals which are just lines. And as you gather your petals towards the middle part, because your purple is still wet, it's going to kind of um, do this kind of gradient or just it's going to blend. You can obviously, you know, choose the kind of flower you want to go for. I chose this. I don't even know what flower this is, but um, maybe this is a daisy. I'm not really sure. You can draw roses. You can draw many more things. Whatever, you know, you want to go for, just do it. And I decided to work with a smaller design, but if you want, you can make them bigger. It's up to you. And just cover the whole thing in this design or just this pattern. As far as for the sides, you can always like go ahead and paint them. I just decided to keep it simple and just, you know, paint two flowers on the volume buttons. But you can again customize it to your own liking. If you want to have the pattern all around it, just go ahead and do it. Once that's dry, we're going to go ahead and paint those leaves. Now I'm using green and another toothpick and I'm just going to pretty much uh, draw triangles. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take lighter shade of green and this is pretty much my same green with some white on it, just mix in. And I'm just going to draw for some kind of dimension, you know, line going in the middle. And here I'm just showing you what I did with the ones on the edges. As you can see, it's not like the same, the same because it has kind of um, a gap where the, you know, button goes. Okay, as far as for the top coat goes, I used for the first time Mod Podge and I started with the, a regular brush, but as I saw it drawing, I was able to just see the lines of the brush. So I decided to switch in the last moment to using my sponge and just applying a second coat of Mod Podge to just, you know, with the hope of not seeing those lines. And I still saw them. So what I thought of doing is add more uh, Mod Podge. So this, this cell phone case has like three coats of Mod Podge. It's crazy. But again, it was the first time using this product. So I decided to go for a third one. And just before it dried, I wanted to apply, experimenting with the whole thing, a Ziploc bag on top just so in my mind it was when it dried it was like going to be it was going to kind of grab like the flat surface of a ziploc bag but it didn't turn out as i wanted to as you're going to see in the end this is how i removed the bag and as you can see it was like this is after two days of letting the whole thing dry it was taking a long time to dry and set so i just decided to take the whole ziploc bag away so this is how the final product looks like i really like the design but again with that finish i am not really sure about it's not like super smooth or anything like that. I'm still working with this product. It's new to me. It's still sticky to the touch 
and I did this like last week. Maybe it's because the weather has been like rainy and stuff. I'm I'm not really sure if that's really affecting this. Is there any other way to just have the smooth surface without the lines of the brush or without anything else marking there? Just if you know, let me know in the comments. So I just wanted to try this uh, moth posh thing. The gloss or the spray that I was using before, it was okay. I just like the finish of it. It dries in less time, but it was like too stinky smell that is like too strong. But yeah, I just wanted to share this idea. If you liked, don't forget to let me know, share, subscribe, give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my channel for more stuff and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.